Hey everyone, Jengar here. So today we're looking at the MiG-17, the ground jewel of patch 1.55. You'll get two matches from me. Uh, from the first match this plane was stock and I give you a few kill cams. The second match I will show you completely and that is after I bought the performance modifications for this plane because flying this thing in stock against all the MiG-15 business beta that are flying around right now trying to unlock this thing was painful. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. Now this was when the plane was stuck. And it was really a pain to fly this plane. We're getting attacked by an IL-28 here. And we are going into a snap roll here. Trying to avoid his 23 millimeters. Those things are crazy by the way, but you all know that. But I haven't flown jets a lot, so... I haven't met the IL-28 that much. But they're really used as fighters. <laughs> as far as I can see. After flying these jets again for uh, much more. I'm making a turn here looking if we want to go after the IL-28 but we we won't do that it's another IL-28 but we're going into steep dive here 19 G's 20 G's here there's prob the plane has a lot of trouble with that starting to uh, bump up and down when you go that fast it still has this behavior once it's uh, once you get a few more modifications but I'll show you that in the second clip because we eventually did decide to buy some modifications I, when I fl was flying in stock I really cannot give a representative view of this plane at all and I really did badly as well flying against all the spaded MiG-15s that, that are out at the moment to unlock the MiG-17 everybody wants this plane we're going for this MiG-15 talking about MiG-15s making a barrel roll going after him and there we have the kill so we're looking for a target here guys let's see we're high up we're flying this plane really conservatively and I'm still doing that actually because I'm not a jet fighter expert I must admit but I, I can uh, perform in it if I stay high and work in the vertical but that all doesn't always work and I'm not a head-on expert which happens way more with jets because you don't have time to evade that quickly we go for this uh, guy from the jet squadron I need to get the right aim it's also a problem I have with these planes I'm still bucking it again here with the plane going up and down, going too fast. We're rolling over here to get a shot on one of these guys. It just killed one of my allies. And Skulls here from the jet squadron is not going that fast. Just made some turns and we do get the kill there in a nice turn. I can still find the right lead in those kind of situations. Been having a lot of problems with uh, finding the right lead in jets really got to fly them out a lot more to get proficient in that I'm getting uh, tailed here but it's the end of the match so that's alright see you in the next one hey guys so we're back we have bought some modifications for this plane we've got a uh, MiG-17 who's stalling out here and that's an easy kill I decided to buy the the flight performance modifications because I was really having trouble showing you some worthy footage with a stock MiG-17 flying against a spaded MiG-15 business and stuff like that. So this was going quite a bit uh, better. And we got the LA-9 as well. Bringing us to two kills. The acceleration is a lot better all of a sudden in this plane with uh, the flight performance modifications checked. It also has a much better top speed and 
the bucking in in at, at high speed is still there when you go uh, above 1100 kilometers an hour I misjudged my uh, lead there we're still talking about jets here and lead is something you will have to work on in these planes completely different from uh, props which which are my forte I don't really fly a lot of jets as mentioned but still they can be fun and I, I try to fly conservatively when I fly jets because of that lack of experience with them I still have some decent numbers on most of my jets but um, yeah not on this one I really got shot down a lot when I flew it in stock and with the current rush for the MiG-17 you have all the guys who fly jets a lot out in their uh, MiG-15 business and you see a lot of squads as well so it's really painful at the moment to, to fly a stock uh, MiG-17 or to fly as a beginning jet uh, pilot for that matter even if your plane is uh, spaded here we approach a MiG-15 here we go for my aim again an experienced jet pilot would have gotten that kill Now here we have a Sabre that we are gaining on and there's another MiG-15 behind him as well and we are still gaining on him so the top speed of the MiG-17 is quite good I think only the Hunter is faster we decide not to chase that guy though, as the other guy is also still following him. We decide to fly back. You get pulled away from the battlefield quite, quite fast in jets, and uh, this is a really small map, of course. Now we're like we're extending from the saber. We turned around. And the the MiG-15 crashed. It takes a while to fly back to the battlefield and we've got uh, a MiG-15 approaching for a head-on. I think I aim a little too high there. But I often aim too low so I was a bit experimenting with, with the aim. But another, uh, like again, uh, somebody experienced who uh, flies jets a lot would probably have gotten that head-on. And maybe the second one as well, although I had much le um, less time. But that was also because I, I didn't adjust in time. Beautiful looking aircraft though, the MiG-17. So we're trying to get a, bit, a little bit of altitude again. Looking for our next target. Taking it up straight into the vertical. Let's see what we what we can get. There's a saber climbing on the other side of the map. There's Aegon coming back again. And there's gonna be a head-on. Uh, he uh, rolls out of the way nicely as well and we again have a close flyby. We're now diving on two targets, MiG-15 and a Meteor. Now let's see this, Meteor is coming for a head-on. And we again miss our shots, and I, I'll say again, and a more experienced jet pilot would have gotten that. But yeah, got a MiG-15 here, who is after MiG-15 of ours, he's going up into the vertical he's going for a right turn and this is uh, easier for me and we do get him now we're taking it back up into the vertical This uh, plane can climb like the best of them. 
Its climb rate is phenomenal. And I think it's one of the best climbing jets. Maybe the Hunter is comparable. Got three kills at the moment. We're gonna have to turn into the battlefield again soon. Now this is a very conservative match. So I'm not flying into the action all the time because I really need to uh, work on my aim. I uh, will probably uh, go for some practice runs in, uh, in the editor, the match uh, editor. And I'm gonna spawn 40 uh, AI targets and practice shooting on them because the angles are different than in props. That's what my aim is uh, focused on. Here we go for another head-on. We're spraying praying here a little bit more. And we actually do get him here. So, <laughs> hooray! Pray and pray for the win. A lot of shells in the air at that time. But you've got to shoot early with these jets. Because they're approaching so fast. If you wait longer, you'll get shot. So it's shooting and roll out of the way with a snap roll. Now we're again at 7000 meters. For the real action we should be lower. But I don't like to be in the midst of a furball, as you know that. I like to come from up high and uh, work my way down through the enemies. Being the highest plane is always an advantage. And now that I have the uh, performance modifications of this plane, this is possible in a MiG-17. And in that role as a boom and zoomer, it fits perfectly. If not for my <laughs> sloppy aim in this thing. But uh, yeah, like I said, I think I could have had four or five more kills in this match. And then it would suddenly have been uh, quite a good match. So we're looking for another opponent here. Let's see what we can, uh, what we can do. We got a MiG-15 here, who's going to go after the Vampire most likely. I don't want to turn back because that will bring me straight into the spawning enemy aircraft. So I'm taking it up uh, towards our spawning aircraft. Maybe this MiG-15 will be a good target. He's going. Will he go up? Will he go into a turn here? Ah, we just missed him. We did get a hit in there. And taking it back up, transferring our speed into altitude. Checking our surroundings. We are still the highest plane. We got an assist on that guy. On the MiG-15. Got a B-57 here, which seems like a good target. Don't think the MiG will be able to catch him. Those B-57s are really quite fast. But we're coming from a dive and we have the modifications unlocked now. So you see our speed is going up. If we go into a steeper dive we could get to 1200 kilometers an hour. But we can hold on to this speed quite long. The energy retention on this plane is fantastic. Ah, oh, yes, finally. Had to zoom in there to get the kill. Even even a, a bomber like that who is quite sluggish has so much speed that you need to have the sideward angle adjusted from your prop uh, leading of the target. It really is a different ball game, Jets. But looking at the tickets, we are not going to get a win here. Looks like. There's also a IL-28 incoming in a Canberra. If they hit any targets, we're, uh, we're done. And they're coming in quite fast, both of them. Now here we go, let's see if we can get the Canberra. And uh, yeah, now there we go. We lost the match, unfortunately. 
Let's see the scoreboard. So we got 5 kills, 2600 research points, almost 20,000 silver lions. We've got an extra reward, what will it be? Discount on a tank. <laughs> Let's see. We are 5th. That uh, took us to 5th place and that was uh, my best match so far in this thing. So I'll see you in the conclusion guys. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now I have to say that uh, first flying it out a lot uh, in stock form I had a nightmare in this plane. Especially at the moment with all the people flying out their top tier spaded jets to unlock the MiG-17. It is really not that much fun flying a stock MiG-17 out. I flew it both in AB and in RB and uh, yes, a terrible performance in both because you're flying good pilots in spaded planes and the MiG-17 in stock form is definitely not a top performer as you can imagine. Most planes have this stock syndrome and the MiG-17 is no different. Even as it is the crown jewel of this patch, it, it is no different than any other plane in that regard. So after I bought the flight performance modifications, this plane started to perform a lot better. A lot better climb rate, I could actually uh, get the altitude and be the highest plane, although sometimes uh, contested by uh, Hawker Hunters and uh, other MiG-17s and sometimes a MiG-15 here and there. Um, still, uh, good uh, performance of this plane in the vertical. It also has great acceleration and dive speed. It's very fast. I think only the Hawker Hunter can compare. Uh, it is slightly less maneuverable than the MiG-15 Biz. And thus, I think you have to fly it a little different from the MiG-15 Biz. I think you have to fly it a little bit more like uh, a Boom and Zoomer. A little bit more like you would fly uh, the Hawker Hunter maybe. Although this plane of course is much more maneuverable than that plane. So it's somewhere in the middle most likely. Still now I'm starting to enjoy it. I'm also starting to get used more to the lead with the jets. That is so much different from uh, the prop planes. And uh, as to firepower of this plane once you get in on target. It shreds planes apart so that's all good. So I can definitely recommend you trying to get this plane. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video. You know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment. You know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. I really love to have you aboard and uh, don't feel shy to leave me some comments. I always try to respond to them. So again, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.